So if you if you don't know, let me backtrack real quick. If you don't know, uh, if you're not from one of the Northeast states, New Jersey and Michigan player pools merged for online poker for legalization. So they pulled their tournaments together. So now if I'm, I'm in New Jersey, I'm playing on Poker Stars. I'm going to actually play tonight online probably. Um, I'll be playing against people in Michigan. The field started January 1st of the new year. And just from the jump, and it's still going on. It wasn't like a you know a two day thing, and then it died off. The fields are getting massive. Yeah, I mean you're playing, and, and people might be watching this overseas or other places. I'm like, well, so what? I, I play poker stars, whatever. But here in the states, it's been very tight. So you you could play like a twenty five dollar now tournament, and there's like a ten k guarantee, which yeah. before was yep. like you had to be a hundred or two hundred dollars hit a ten k guarantee. Now it's like nightly twenty five dollar ten k guarantees. Roger from our league, I don't know if you saw him. He played one of those open events. Uh, I think it was a hundred dollar buy in. Yep. And he ended up cashing on the final table for like six or seven grand. But that was but first place was like thirty or forty grand for like a hundred dollar buy in. Oh wow, really? Yes. I didn't know he made a, a deep run. Yeah, in that. yeah. It was a hundred dollars. It was a hundred dollar, hundred grand guaranteed tournament. And they crushed. They crushed yeah. the guarantees. Uh, so Poker Stars now is merged with Michigan in New Jersey. Numbers are huge. And what people don't realize with Michigan, if you look them up, there's only a couple um, like mainstream casinos. There's like MGM, Motor City, a couple like Detroit ones. But just like when, when I went to New Hampshire, there's a ton of like charity. Oh, yeah. Like the card rooms and the stuff. The card rooms. Yeah. So there's a ton of them. And I, I think about in the future, like maybe we make a trip or do something down the road in a couple of years and do like a whole tour again of like yeah. that. But if you look it up, so what that tells me is, there is a ton of recreation because those car rooms are like you know VFWs and things like that. Yeah, there is tons of rec players in Michigan. Michigan is loaded. Plus, it's also the home of Ryan Reese. That's two times mentioned Ryan Reese here. Um, uh, he's from there, and I think Joe Cade is from there from Michigan. So there's a huge like I don't want to say like not as well known. Like when you think of like poker, you don't think of Michigan, right? No. You think of like New Jersey. You think of Vegas. Las Vegas, yeah. yeah. But Michi- California, Michigan is a pop in place and so this merger the numbers have gone i just looked over the numbers for like uh their eye gaming in total like their casino numbers and sports betting numbers and michigan has been every month it's like hundreds of millions of dollars yeah crushing it it's crazy so uh, huge <clears throat> now so after all like getting over all the fomo from you hitting your 100k and being able to play in all those events i'm like you know what I want to check this out, so I loaded up, you know, you know, some some de- a decent amount of money on the Poker Stars just because I wanted to play, you know, some of their the the open events in the beginning, and then the PSPC whatever it is that they have going on right now online, um, and like yeah, same thing, man, like a couple small scores here and there, nothing too crazy, but the fields are just like, like massive, massive. Yeah. Um, the one thing I will say is, you know, it's it's like anything else. Like you play, you know, you play a hundred dollar, uh, ten k. You might see like over just over a hundred people, and most of those hundred people are the same hundred people you're playing with every single week. Yeah, yeah. With this, you really got to pick and choose your spots because you know it's not it's not your typical poker player. There's a lot of dead money yes. in it, but you also have to avoid a lot of those landmines mm, in yes. order to make deep runs. Like, um. I don't want to say that I play a certain way where I'm like always doing GTO or exploitive or whatever the hell you want to call it. But there are things that I know I can get away with, say, on like Borgata because the fields are smaller because I'm getting that respect factor versus like Sorry. guys are not folding when, <laughs> when they're supposed to fold. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, so, I got a gut shot. We're just going to go. No, no, it. seriously. <laughs> like, and, and it, and it can get, it can get frustrating, especially in those, you know, $25, dude. Yeah, people are firing people are bullets. firing four, three or four bullets, like knowing that it's you know they're still going to get two grand at the top if they can if they can get it off a hundred dollar investment. Yeah. So, um, you know, don't think that you're going to throw money on there and automatically be a winner if you're a winner elsewhere. If that makes sense, um, you just got to be smart. Really, pick 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 the games that work for you, not the games that you think work for your bankroll. If that you know what I mean. So I'm ex- here's what I'm excited for. I'm excited for. Um, you know, the, right now, uh, probably after you hear this or maybe right around there, the uh, Bahama event's going on, yep. the Players' Championship. Mm-hmm. Now, they give away those platinum passes. I am looking forward to next year. I'm hoping there's a little more advance about those platinum passes because I did the one in Philly Live. I know they did one in Pittsburgh. But now that this online's merger, they, I know they do some for, like, the top, like, leaderboards and things like that. I'm One of my goals in my back of my head is, like, to actively try – 
and do it by, you know, playing so, some of the schedule, the online stuff. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of chances online to try to get into the Bahamas. It's one thing that I've always wanted to go to. It's always yeah, been on be that, hot. like, poker bucket list to play in the PCA down there in Bahamas. And, um, I, you know, I really hope that, you know, later on this year when they start promoting for 2024, uh, that it's something that we might be able to fire on and go. Yeah, I go. mean. I know my editor, Sean, shout out to Sean. Uh, he's going down there to cover the events. I'm like, dude, I'm jealous. He's like, yeah, it's like a poker vacation, but I'm working, getting paid. So I know he's going down there. And, um, you know, here, here's a little fun fact, though, about the uh, the, uh, the Players' Championship down there. Um, they don't have a poker room. The um, uh, Man, I'm losing. The, what is the name of that? Atlantis. Does not have a poker room. When I went down there a few years ago, not for this event, just to go down there for something else, um, I was like, all right, where's the poker room? They're like, oh, we don't have one. I'm yeah, like, I'm like you like guys host table like one games the, and slots. And yeah, stuff. And I was like, dude, you guys host like one of the biggest things. They're like, no, that's only for that event. They set those tables wow. up. Wow. They don't have a year-round poker room. So if you're like me and you go down there, there's not a poker room. So do room. they run cash while that's going on, or you don't know? I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like they have would to. would have to, right? yeah. Like, they have yeah. to have pop-up cash games. They got to keep they gotta keep the, the gens satiated. I mean, you got dudes. <laughs> they, they got, like, a 100K high roller. So there's dudes down there yeah, with, like, the, whales of cash. They just want to get in those high-end cash games. So, yeah. So they got to have something. But um, I, w- I would really love to get in there. So I'm hoping, PokerStars, if you're listening or someone's listening, um, you know, I think a little more uh, advanced notice of your plans, maybe for those if you're doing live events. I would love to see hopefully a live event at resorts in Lake City, like they did years ago. That would be awesome. Yeah, as well. remember that? That was legit. I yeah. remember that. So I'm I hoping s- that this merger is maybe getting some money flowing to make those things happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, think.